Hello YouTube. Right, so what have we got today? This is uh, this is a lovely item actually. It is a gyrosyn compass indicator off uh, some random military aircraft made by Sperry, um, as a lot of good things are. Uh, it has another sticker there, as well as a date, 1980. Um, in in fairly good condition. Uh, with a marking there, but uh, yeah, it's it's generally quite nice. Uh, so we have some dials here, this one turns that thing, whatever that does, if you push this in it turns something, but it adjusts something inside. So yeah, let's take a look at what's inside it. We've got this big chunky plug on the back. It actually it goes together in a really interesting way. The, the thread on this plug has, has this uh, big round nut thing on it, and you unscrew that. And then that held the uh, the whole of the, the case on. So there we go. And we have a whole load of motors and synchros and goodness inside. Interestingly, um, a lot of them are different makes. These ones are made by Bendix. Uh, that one, the, the, these two are made by uh, someone else. Can't quite see the make. Something product. Um, that one I think is a repair. Um, so yeah, the engineering that's gone into this is is quite uh, quite incredible. All this mechanism here is all it does is it reverses the uh, the, the, the direction that that this this little marker goes in. So so when you turn the uh, turn the wheel. The little marker goes in the same direction as you're turning in, um, and that's all done by this this, this rather complicated and lovely gearing mechanism. Um, that's the sort of effort they'll go to to uh, make uh, make the interface intuitive. I wonder how much that added to the price. Uh, so we have lots of kind of little control transformers and uh, bits of synchro related tech. The whole thing seems to be driven by this uh, motor generator. So if I sit here and turn that, it rotates the entire uh, the entire front wheel. Lovely construction. The only thing that's, that seems a, a little bit odd about this is this bit here. Oh, I can't zoom in anymore. But the uh, this space they used, it, it wasn't quite long enough, so they've just stuck two kind of little nuts on the end and, and sort of bodged this bit on to give them give themselves another couple of millimeters, which which looks kind of uh, weird and amateur compared to the rest of it with all this all this lovely casting and precision made parts. They, they've done the same thing there. Um, it's clearly meant to be this height because um, because these these bits of sheet metal are, are, are fine, they're, they're the right way, but it's just, just these bits that look really out of place and weird. Um, not much in the way of electronics in it, we've got some sort of resistory thing there, and, and I guess that might be a mica capacitor or something. Um, just, just lots of gears and synchros. The one really peculiar thing about this is that buried in the middle here, that there, which is a synchro receiver so it's it's not a con control transformer or, or any of the other obscure parts it's a straightforward synchro receiver and it's not connected mechanically to anything it has it has no mechanical connection whatsoever um, if you look in there uh, I was looking at it there um, that that's the output of it I can spin it freely with a screwdriver it's it's not connected to anything at all. Um, so yeah, what's it there for? Who knows? What what's it even doing? Um, so I mean, you you, you do get uh, uh, devices like this, like like the synchro transformers, where the output of them um, or, the, or the moving shaft is is either held stationary um, or or as it is here, coupled to coupled to a. a a gear train to provide some feedback. Um, 
but to actually just have a synchro receiver that's the output of which is completely free to turn is is a really weird thing. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's going on there. If anyone uh, if anyone does know, um, do leave it in the comments. I'd I'd love to I'd love to know more about that. This connector is really nice. Incidentally, the uh, all these all these pins are, are in are in like uh, a little little kind of vitrified glass seals for each one. Um, that's a, it's a super super high quality connector. So yeah, um, I'm I'm going to deviate from my normal standard of, of completely destroying things, um, perhaps somewhat disappointingly. Um, this is just a little bit too nice to completely destroy, um, and uh, I already have quite a large box of of synchros and and motors, so I don't really think. Um, I benefit from ripping it apart. Um, it's it's just it's quite nice to sit and look at. Uh, another uh, control transformer here. Uh, this in this one they they made the entire uh, control transformer rotate, and the connections are done by these these little wipers in there. A really lovely item. Um, it wasn't very well advertised on eBay, so I actually got it for pretty cheap. It's about eight quid or so, which I, I thought was uh, quite a good bargain. Um, so yeah, there we go. Really, uh, really high quality indicator. Thank you for watching.